Today we're going to use Power Scripts from C Prime to create a way to prevent a specific user from opening up any issue type except for a specific issue type. Um, the use case we're looking to solve said bugs, but I'm actually going to use stories. Now, one of the things we need to do is uh, create a way to specify which user has these special permissions. Now, we certainly could just type the username of that individual into the script, but then if we ever need to change that or add people to it, we would have to modify the scripts. However, if we use something like a user role, project role, we can add change the person or add people to that role without actually modifying the script. Um, it's one way I like to do it. So what I have here is my test project, which I've already created a role called product development tester, for lack of a better name, and I've already added myself to that role. So let's go ahead and now create a workflow validator to prevent that user from creating that issue type. Now this project only has one workflow, but if you have multiple workflows, you would need to put um, a validator on, on every workflow to prevent them from creating those specific issue types with that workflow. So what I'm looking for now is the create transition that's where we want to add our special validator. We don't even want to get them past the create, let them get past the create stage. So let's add a validator and it will be a sil validator. We'll create a new script. We'll call it only stories and we'll put it in test folder. Alright, so first thing I want to do is to create an array of testers because there could be more than one from the project role. And we'll set it to, I'm going to use a function called users in role it takes two parameters one is the project but we don't we can just say project here the project variable that's already in the context of, of the issue we're trying to create so that should work and then the name of the role which is product development tester okay See, we'll also create our error message for the validator. We'll say string error. Oops. You do not have permission. an if condition if and then we'll use the element exists function which will search this array that we've created for testers and we'll search for current user so we're saying if the current user the person who's logged in using Jira is in this array of users that came out of this product development tester project role, then they'll only be allowed to open that specific issue type. So then we need to add um, see type does not equal story. Term false means you failed the test because you were only allowed 
let's create a story. So we're going to create the type of uh, message as error and we will pass the error string. And that should be our validator. Looks good. All right, so let's finish up. And we'll publish. All right, let's try to create um, All right, first let's try to create a story and theoretically I should be allowed to create this ticket. Okay, it's a good sign. I was successfully able to create a story. Now let's try to create an epic and I should not be able to do this. Hmm. Okay, so I jumped back into our only stories.sales script that we created in the workflow. And here it is, and I found um, I copied and pasted the project role right out of the project and it was all caps and it needs to be exactly how it appears here. It is case sensitive and this is in the system section under project roles. So now we try again. I'll try to create an epic. And I should not be able to create this epic. Okay. And then I'll try to create a story. And I should be able to create a story. And there you have it. That's how you do it with validators.